What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte reacts back with some more slam dunk reactions, man. We're gonna be doing episodes 5 and 6 today. You're welcome. Okay, so Last episodes We watched episode 3 and 4 we saw the culmination of the challenge between is it Hanamichi Anamichi, I want to say Anamichi, okay, against the gorilla, the captain of the team, right, <laughs> the, ca the captain of the basketball team, and he dunked on him to end it, um, but at the end of the day, he still had to make the team, he thought just because he beat the captain, he should just automatically be now the, the basketball ace, but that's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? We all know that's not how it works. You know, you have to try out. You have to do all these things to make any kind of sports team. No matter how good you may think you are. The way to go is not to assume that a player is great. Is to for you to try out. At least have the basics down. Which he has no basketball training whatsoever. And he thinks he's going to just jump on the court and just dunk on everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's what we all think when we when we start any sports, you know, we think we're gonna dominate until you realize, oh shit, I don't know how to even, you know what I'm saying, bounce the ball properly in the first place, you know what I'm saying, and get better. And I think it's going to make him a better player, learning the basics. Of course, the manager, the second year, um, just we got introduced to, um, pretty cool uh, manager that they're going to have and of course you know it's a girl it's high school they're going to portray that in a way that I you know probably not going to like but it, it's all good you know what I'm saying like as I said before it's a pet peeve of mine I don't like to see just boys just fawning over girls and it's just it's just so cringe to me but at the same time you know what I'm saying if you can make it funny I'm going to laugh, you know what I'm saying? If you can make it funny, I'm still going to laugh. I'm in the moment I'm watching the show. But, you know what I'm saying, always in hindsight when I'm looking at those things, I'm like, man, that was really cringy and kind of corny. You know what I'm saying? And it shouldn't be. And I think animes have been doing off lately, they've been doing it a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, Zenitsu, you know what I'm saying? Zenitsu from from demon slayer you know what i'm saying like how he acts over nesuko you know what i'm saying like yeah you know i mean it's funny how he acts over nesuko you know what i'm saying it's it's funny see if you can make it funny yeah you know i'm saying it's still corny you get what i'm saying and it can be very annoying like a lot of people don't like zenitsu's character like a lot of people don't like his character <laughs> you know what i'm saying because it's just it's over the top the way how he acts and stuff like that but he's, he's actually my favorite character in the show that's the thing about it at the current moment watching demon slayer season one zenetsu is my favorite character in the show and it's not because of his antics but that side of him is super corny and cheesy and it's just it's unnecessary but for some reason as i said most animes they just have to have some dude in the show fawning over a girl i just i don't understand why is that how teenage boys act in, act in Japan? Maybe. I don't know. I don't have no info on that. But as I said before, they really do. As I said, from the modern animes that I've been watching in recent times, it they're kind of like, it's not as prevalent as it used to be. Watching classic animes, you get what I'm saying? It's not as bad as it used to be. Like you're talking about, um, what's his name? Um. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember his name right now. But, um, but yeah, it's just, it's just so over the top. And I think they've kind of toned that down a lot more on how they project that through the screen in the more modern animes, um, than what it used to be in the classic animes. You know what I mean? So it's it's a little bit less it's it's a it's a lot less it's been toned down a lot but it's still there but in any case i don't want to 
I've said that so many times. I need to stop talking about it. You guys are probably tired of hearing me talking about it anyways. Let's get to these episodes. Okay, so that was episodes 5 and 6 of Slam Dunk. Of course, amazing two episodes. A lot better than the first four, of course. Um, so what I like about those two episodes was it show a little bit of growth in our main character Anamichi right um, showing a lot of growth within his character and I'm all here for growth you know he needed to understand you know and I think certain things are becoming clearer to him we got to meet the coach of the team but right now we're in the middle of a match basically between Rukawa and Akaki, okay, the captain of the team, they're going up against each other, man, putting up shots, um, Akaki, the captain is blocking it, going down for the gorilla dunk, you know what I'm saying, I'm all for it, the excitement is there, I'm liking this anime, man, I'm liking where it's, where it's heading, um, it's still nothing there to really nitpick about this anime, uh, um, as yet, you know what I'm saying, I've talked about you know a couple of things that i'm hoping that i'll see a little bit more inspiration um a lot of times it's kind of hard to get into classic animes especially because of the animation you get what i'm saying because the animation is not it's not superb animation you know what i'm saying i think if they should make a basketball anime like you know starting like today it would look way better than that you know what i'm saying animation would be a lot more fluid of course, um, so my, um, some people has told me that Kuroko, I think it's the name of it, is a lot more modern and it's a lot more, the animation is a lot more fluid in that anime, you know, so we'll see once we get to see that. I don't know if I'm going to do it next because this is a basketball anime. I don't want to do another basketball anime next, so I might skip and do something else and then I'll come back and do Kuroko, but we'll see what happens, but this anime so far, you know, the story, the lessons, the inspiration is there. I just want him to expound upon that a lot more going forward and showing the growth of our main character. But, you know, it seems like Arukawa is going to be a main character too. And I think they're going to work. I think all of them, all three of these guys, um, as we are going to dub them as the big three on the team, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be the captain, Rukawa, and Anamichi is going to be the formidable people, you know, that are really good on the team. The others are just going to be, you know, other dudes, the other guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we're going to have our three dudes, you know, dominate on the court. You have a great defender. You know what I'm saying? Big guy, play center. You have, um, it seems like, more than likely... Um, Ruka, Ruka wise, he's going to play point guard and we're going to have Hanamichi being like a, like a power forward or a small forward on the court. That's just, you know what I'm saying? He's got to learn how to shoot. He's got to learn how to do all of these things. And as I said, during the reaction, you know, when I paused, I said, these are things that he has to go through. You have to go through the bases. Nobody walks into sports and you're automatically good. Sports is something that you do have to practice. Don't think that these guys that you see, you know, like say a Zion Will Williamson that made it to the NBA, don't think that he was just dunking on people, you know what I'm saying, and he just got there. This all comes with practice. Practice, practice, practice. I'm going to tell you this from experience with sports is something you have to know the basics there's no way around it you don't just walk onto a, a tennis court you don't just walk onto a football field you don't just walk onto a soccer field and be and just be good it just doesn't happen <laughs> no matter how good you may pick up things quicker than most but you still have to learn the basic you still have to go through that process of learning and perfecting the art of the basics because if you don't have the basics down you're not going to be good at the sport period no matter how good you think you is <laughs> you know what i mean so 
um at the end of the day i like the fact that they included that and they, they didn't just throw him on the court and be like oh he dunked on someone so all of a sudden he's good i'm glad that he's being held back to know the basics of dribbling of passing and all these things that are extremely important in basketball i'm so glad that they're doing that i really do appreciate you guys for coming by and watching a couple more episodes with me man i appreciate y'all i will see y'all next time for some more slam dunk and as always man don't forget to leave a like don't forget to leave a comment and i will catch you guys for the next one peace